G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to War Thunder with Mags and welcome aboard what may be the single greatest bomber in the game besides the PO2. This is the TB3. The TB3M1732 is a rank 1 battle rating 1.3 extremely rare bomber of the Soviet Union. I don't think I need to go over this plane's defensive capability all that much. It is covered in 7.62mm DA machine guns and it can carry a phenomenal multi-ton bomb load. But it also has a top speed in level flight of 185km per hour. Yes, this multi-engine monstrosity ranks among the slowest aircraft in War Thunder that you can potentially fly. But what's better than one? Three. This is a squad battle. I'm flying out with Tal and with Ash007, both who also have TB3s, and we are trying a three-way squad against the forces of Germany. I hope you enjoy. I like sitting in the cockpit view of this thing. Yeah, so do I, actually. The cockpit of this thing is fantastic. I like looking at it, it it's, across it's the like, in the back. Yeah, it's just like a massive Cadillac. What's the Russian equivalent of the Cadillac at TB3? Hmm. Got the compasses, got the gauges, got a nice windshield, open top so we can feel the sun, it's comfy. As I said, there's a little spot down behind the seats to put the S gear, it looks like it's got drink holders across the back. And if you line it up... It makes sense because, well, with this cloud cover... JU87. I, I don't want to have to make an educated guess on where I'm going to bomb. Just be aware, JU87. Yeah, yeah. What, like it's a threat? Oh, trust me, this one is. <laughs> What's it got on it? Oh, no, he's diving. However, that is a threat. Yeah, the HK100. Oh, this bomb. could be entertaining. I'm idling the engines, I'm in a dive, and I'm... I'm starting to sweat because I'm over 200 kilometers per hour. <laughs> God, the thing's racing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I this I'm almost directly over the top of the bombing target, and I still can't see it in my scope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna catch that up. You won't catch the uh, HE-100. It just won't happen. He just noped his way out of there. Although, he looks like he's heading towards you, Tal. I don't care. I just dropped all bombs and I'm now returning to base. Yeah. Forming up on my eggs. I shouldn't have to drop all of them, but I can't remember exactly how many you have to drop out of this thing. Ooh, I've got more points. I uh, just dropped everything. Yeah, it's probably a wise idea. There's, everything will destroy work. the base. Yeah, and then we can go back, right. reload, and troll our way to the airfield. <laughs> you know what would be amazing? All the way. You know what would be amazing? A rocket loadout for the TB3. <laughs> <laughs> I just see it chasing down like, like Po2. Uh, no, um, what's slower than a Po2? Swordfishes. I just want the I-15 boat hangers for it. <laughs> that was a really sharp turn. Oh yeah. Ooh, seven targets destroyed. Beautiful. You get the base as well. Mm, that, Hearing yeah. accessory engines. Oh. Yeah. Gunners. That's a Doe 17. Yeah, Doe 17 just below us. He's the night fighter variant too. Good hits. Got hits. More Whoa. hits. G, lol, G50 trying to out, out turn a I-16. Lol. Whoa. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. It's just a scratch. 
Just a scratch. Engine's off. What a hell of a time to run out of ammo. I think I'm going to give this poor Heinkel 51 a fucking scare of a lifetime. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm on fire or not anymore. I can't tell. Uh, you're not on fire anymore, no. Cool, engine oh, powering back up. coming back up. Where's the where's base back there? Okay. Oh, great. He's coming back around for a second pass. I think my throttle's just crapped itself. Yeah, I'd be aware I've got no rear firing guns. Bugger. Wait, hang on. Perhaps I do. I'm good. Good. I'm on landing approach. <laughs> Got this thing. <laughs> oh, I'm traveling 300. Yeah, I was doing 300 for a second there too. It was scary. Intercepting the Donny. Have you got forward firing guns though? Uh, only if he's above me, not if he's below me. Okay, well I'm going to continue chasing him. Um, his right engine has to be shattered at the moment. Oh, the amount of bullets are put into him, yeah. Alright, here we go. Interceptor. TB3. Oh my god, I need an air brake. <laughs> I need an air brake. Alright. I have to say, the beautiful thing about this thing is that it is oh, such no. a damn good glider. Got him. He got you? You got him? He uh, pilots not me. Get there's two pilots. Logic. Right, ah yes, so basically the wheels have no brakes. <laughs> you should be able to make it back. Oh look at the points we've made. 2,800. 2,000. Just trying to level this thing up using the rudder at the moment. The uh, right wing has looked better. It's interesting. I swear this plane sounds like it's still on fire, even though it's not. Well, according to my screen, it isn't. <laughs> this thing's that big. It could have a fire inside of the fuselage. Either that or the chef is burning something. I'm not entirely okay. sure. I got, I got, I got. I just plowed into the ground. From here, your plane is looking, well, it doesn't look on fire. Yeah, there's no animation for it, but I'm hearing fire. Well, I shall wait for your landing, because I don't want to land this thing while somebody else is landing one of these. Engines are shut off. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. I'm, I'm just worried about... Stri the wings are that long, I'm worried about striking the wing on landing, because... Ah, oh, come on now. Rudder, rudder, stabilise. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Huh? Good. Oh, that was... Oh, oh, no, it broke. It broke. It broke. Well, while, you, while okay. your wheels may have been there, the actual struts of the of the landing gear weren't actually there. So oh, that will explain wheels. it. So I had levitating uh, yep. 1 minute 45 seconds. There is one levitating engine and a gunner seat. Are you seeing that? No, yeah. mine looks okay. Yeah, well, you, your engine is ripped in half, literally. Oh, oh okay, yes. Hang on, yeah, I do see the... Oh, no, my gunner seat's attached to the wing on mine. The, uh, the engine's completely gone. The outer engine is completely gone with the wingtip somewhere else on my screen, but the uh, the gunner seat's still bolted to the floor where it should be. Um, I'm about to pass I you by. Got it. 
And also, your engine is literally cut in half. Yeah. And, it, and it's... Yes! <laughs> Watching a 747 take off. It's a bit ponderous, isn't it? Hmm. How long are we here? Uh, 37 seconds more. Game, stop telling me I'm on critical speed. Game, it's a TB3, it's always on critical speed. But God, this bomb load is glorious. I hate the fact that you took off when when I was still starting this repair, and you've only managed to get 1.7 kilometers away. All right. I don't trust I am you. Now taking off. Fuck me up. All right, enemy airfield. Yeah. We could go kill a couple of grain units. Tickets are low. We could. It says we've got 400, they've got 400 tickets left. We've got 800. This is true, we could do that too. <laughs> Lift off speed 151 kilometers an hour. Well, you can take off with some 20 or something like that. It climbs quite happily at 130 kilometers per hour. And I would say that's uh, it bit right from your perspective for the climb and then angle towards the airfield well, if the tickets are that low I actually think that's probably a good idea so if we can just carpet bomb the shit out of a couple of convoys and leave it at that okay be closer be closer to get to and let's be honest if we head towards that airfield yeah the problem is they are over the middle all over it so yeah, but we're in TB3s. There's no way we're getting to that airfield without them trying to intercept us, especially considering one of them is in a HE-100. It doesn't matter what we do, we're going to be fighting these planes. Like, that is just going to happen. Okay. I'm on web. Uh, if you could go down to 90%, I would be able to catch up to you. Alright. Since I basically threw one circle. Yeah, I'm going to angle a little bit left. Because we have H. Oh, you know, he's heading in the other direction. I think he's playing with the the I-153 and the PBY. Okay. Uh, if we get one or two of those tanks, we should be good. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. You won't make it in time, you're too slow. Maybe. Alternatively, we just go for the armoured cars. I'm dropping on the tank. As soon as I can see the tank, there's the tank. Now, if that many bombs doesn't kill it, I'm going to be disappointed. They're Russian bombs. It'll wipe out the entire column. Got him. Yeah, and that leaves us on 12 tickets for them. There's the other granny on the contactable map. Below no, you to your left. left. I'm about to jump on the armored cars. I'm peeling in on this tank. Dive bombing run in a TB3. Anchor 100 yep. coming in. It's alright, I'm gonna dive bomb in a TB3. Don't worry. Game. I wanna dive bomb in the TB3. God damn it, Tell! <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> Slowest dive bomb ever. <laughs> So the results for the match, first, second and third, Ash, myself and Tal, all in TB3s, taking the top three spots for the team and claiming victory. 
In terms of earnings, it's not a great deal, even though the TB3 is actually a premium aircraft. We're looking at 19,865 silver lions and 5,148 research points. But yeah, this isn't a plane that you fly out to earn massive credits and research stuff. This is a plane you fly out for the lols, and that's all. Anyway, just one last thing to address before we sign this off. Uh, I understand there are a few people that have commented why there's so many live comms videos going on at the moment. I actually have a couple of major projects that I'm working on myself for the channel and a couple of personal things going on at once, and I just haven't found the time over the last couple of weeks to be able to sit down and really play enough to be able to really pull together some of those matches that I would normally do. I should have some of them still coming up, but um, yeah, it's been a time constraint on my end, as well as working on a couple of other things. Two, possibly three of those projects should be ready in the next week to week and a half. So, not much longer to go. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. Please remember to leave a like on the video, it helps me out a lot, and subscribe if you want to see more and you haven't already. And until next time, fly smart, fly safe, and I will catch you in the skies.